Hello there, so we've come for a walk to Coombe Hill Wood and we've had our first snow last night. You can't see much of it, but you can see some there. And I was literally arrested by the magnificence of this view. So beautiful. So I made a film very recently to do with timelines and we got these timelines and it's a choice and it depends whether we are really living in fear or living in love and living in love is all about the new earth which is that's a beautiful representation of the new earth just looking at that wonderful view uh, so lovely and i suppose if i wanted to make a representation of fear it would probably be a a, a shot of a a city in a grimy part of a city something like that with lots of devastation and degradation but this really does represent very beautifully the new earth and I feel that there's some more things I wanted to say so particularly this is what I want to make very clear is that 2020 and also 2021 to a certain extent we have this very unusual opportunity of being able to jump from one timeline to the other and I've experienced this myself quite a number of times I'm sure you have too when something has happened to cause me to go into fear I find myself suddenly on the fear timeline and I become aware of the mass of the fears of huge numbers of people and it all seems a bit hopeless and dire and desperate and start to have concerns about the future and then most particularly if I go into nature or do any one of a number of other things that make me feel so good. Cooking food, building, just extending my senses into my environment, being in nature, all the things I love to do. And it just brings me right back into the love timeline on the new earth. And literally, this is what we do. We make our choices day by day. And I've had some interesting experiences of making choices that meant I went into builders merchants and being challenged by face covering wearing people that I would comply with the way they do things and of course I don't do that but it was a real sanitary experience because actually I'd been so much in inhabiting creating my own reality I was suddenly in somebody else's and they were attempting to demand that I conform to theirs and I was actually quite surprised at my own reaction it really was a reaction because I suddenly realized that this person was just one of so many people out here that had been demanding that I conform to their view of things and I just blew my top, lost it and told them to fuck off and stormed into the place to do what I went to do. And of course with time to reflect I realized that that behavior was unacceptable and I did go back and apologize to the person for upsetting them as they had indeed upset me and literally shaken me out of my new earth living in love timeline inside that building and in fact as I tuned in a bit more in the building I noticed the unpleasant beeping noises I noticed a toxic radio music full of its mind control programming I thought my goodness me I'm so blessed I don't have to spend eight hours a day working in a place like this no windows no heating awful place to be so I feel so full of gratitude and that's really what I want to make really clear to you is that this is not going to continue this is just a very special window we've got last year and for part of the year we can literally just flip or jump from one timeline to the other from the love one to the fear one from the fear one to the love one that's the option we've got at the moment and that will change and there will come a point when we realize that we've actually made our choice and it is definitive and we've learned enough from flipping backwards and forwards between the two so i wish you a very good day from this beautiful view in Somerset. Thank you very much.